Okay, is this thing working? Yep, yep it is. Okay, so, um, I, I, I'm just kind of down because, you know, the million dollar idea just got got by my mortal nemesis, the fake LXG crew. Or I guess they're going to be the LX crew now with that million dollar idea, man. It, if they change their name, it's it's over. I'm fucking dead. Look, I, I can't concentrate. I, I just gotta, I gotta do, I gotta press on. I gotta release quality LXG content like I always have. Um, so today I'm gonna go over uh, the meta game of Fortnite right now and what characters you should pick because uh, the hero you choose is really important in this game and it's good to know what is the best to own scrubs with um, so just listen up you'll know what characters to use and what characters not to use alright so it's important to start with what tiers you're going for and usually you want to go for the highest tier characters unless you're scrub so uh, the highest tier character in the game right now is Yakuza Girl because she can headbutt dudes she uh, can cut off a dude's hand with a cleaver and send it to their family as a warning. Um, she's got a lot of nifty abilities like that. Um, she can extort small marketplaces uh, and you don't even want to know what you can do if you find a Mahjong set. Um, so basically she's overpowered as fuck uh, and if you uh, really like cutting off people's fingers it's probably the best character for you. And the second S tier, like top tier character is Tim. Because, I mean, why wouldn't he be? Of course, Tim. Okay, so everybody's going to be in for shock on this one. But for A tier's, like, first selection, uh, Killer Robot is actually uh, still in A tier. Uh, after a lot of tweaks and balances, uh, he can still shoot lasers out of pretty much every orifice. Um, he also has the ability to uppercut people's heads off like Rock'em Sock'em robots, only their, like, spines come out. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm glad, um, that they kept his ability to basically feel love as a robot, because, you know, they were, they were, you know, contemplating taking that out, because, you know, it just kind of formed spontaneously after the character was developed by Epic Games Studios, of course. But, uh, you know, they, they allowed that to, to stay and blossom in the character, and it really made them a, a complex killer robot. So I, I still approve of killer robot being in A tier. And then, of course, we have the, you know, long-time favorite, Cowboy Lady. Now, Handsome Cowboy was up here for a long time, and that's why I played Handsome Cowboy pretty early on in this channel. But, honestly, after all the new season updates, Handsome Cowboy is pre pre-faded. Uh, liquor, you know, doesn't get him as far anymore, so, you know, you have to move on to the, to the spunky, younger, uh, cowboy lady, uh, she has the, you know, lasso abilities, of course, uh, the standard, you know, six shooter, uh, but she also has the ability to herd large amounts of cattle, which comes in very, very handy on numerous occasions, uh, which, you know, puts her pretty solidly at A tier, because, Honest to God, you can't really deal with that many cows at once uh, in any circumstance. That's just, you know, a law of nature, and it's a law in Fortnite, I guess. But, you know, at least for this season. Going on to B tier, we've got Bondage Gimp. Uh, you might be wondering why Bondage Gimp is not down in C tier. Uh, that's because Bondage Gimp actually enjoys being hurt and enjoys the eternal suffering that all Fortnite characters must constantly, constantly endure. So, basically, it, it, it's sort of like a reward punishment system, but they're like reversed. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but he gets extra skill points for it, so he's probably in B tier. And then, of course, we got Slutty Vampire. Uh, Slutty Vampire can, like, sexily bite people or just regular bite people. And, uh, as always, has a wicked cool car. Um, but I, I still think that, like, 
I don't know, Slutty Vampire seems like high C tier at this point, just because it's like, if you go outside in the daylight, you burst into flames, that's like, what the hell is that, you know? It's, that's a major drawback, even if you can just like, bite someone's head from across the map, you know? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll go with B tier, B tier. And finally at C tier, uh, we've got Stupid Clown Girl. Uh, Stupid Clown Girl prances around like a fucking idiot all the goddamn time and makes stupid honking noises and then ends up setting a landmine off or something under your feet. And it's, it's fucking annoying, but, you know, there's nothing you can really do about it. So, C tier because, because of spite. And then we got Talking Horse. Uh, he's got uh, some armor plating, I guess, but he looks stupid as hell, and he glows in the dark, and he's magnetic, and his cell phone doesn't have any battery charge at the start of the game. Um, he's got a lot of drawbacks, and his only advantage is he can do a lot of those dancing modes for no goddamn reason. Always. Constantly. Yeah, everybody else sucks fat dick. Don't use them. Bye.